All right, so we have an up, an increaser, and a down, a decreaser. On the back of your test strip, you have OK between 7.2 and 7.8 for the pH. Yep. You have OK between a 1 and a 5 for the chlorine. That's not true. We'll go over that in a minute. You have an OK between an 80 and a 120 on the alkalinity. We do not test stabilizer in a hot tub, so we don't worry about the bottom one. We shake one of these out. We hold it sideways, dip it in, pull it out. We match up our colors. We're at about a 7.2, 0. 100 pretty close so we're basically perfect so if your alkalinity is high and your ph is low reverse that if your alkalinity is low and your ph is high always bring up your alkalinity first to the 120 mark and then 24 hours later you can bring down them both together okay okay so the up does them both and the down does them both Okay, and this is a one tablespoon measurement spa on everything you do. All right. Okay, if your alkalinity is high and your pH is low, then you're gonna wanna bring up your pH and then down both together. Normally, if your alkalinity is high, it either means you added way too much or it's time to change the water. Okay? It's a good thing you're a chemistry major. <laughs> so like I said, one tablespoon measurements. Okay, this is gonna be checked once a week. The alkalinity and the um chlorine but the chlorine is going to disappear in 24 hours mm -hmm. okay so this is oxidizing shock so if you get a cut and it gets infected you have to open up that infection before you can kill it with alcohol that's what this does it opens up any type of bacteria in the plumbing so once a week you're going to add one tablespoon of this no matter what okay this is your chlorine so the last time of the day that you get out of the spa you add one tablespoon of chlorine you push all three jet buttons, go inside, get dry, get dressed, and then close the lid. We want the chlorine to evaporate into the air, not okay. into the cover. Okay? Any questions about chemicals? Don't turn that video off yet. When you put the chlorine in and you run all three jets and yep. you walk away, do you shut them off? Nope, when they run walk? for 15 minutes. No, but I mean, then you, when you, before or after you put the cover down, you know what I mean? So they're gonna run for 15 minutes and then you can then close you, right. the lid. Right. Okay. okay? Yep. So this is the nature's two stick. So this has copper, zinc, and silver in it. This kills 98% of the bacteria. This gets changed every four to six months, depending on your usage. We recommend every four months. This drops in between the two filters, just kind of hangs out there. Okay. You can go ahead and stop that video if you want.